TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, during the this is what eight o'clock. Eight o'clock update. This is the market right now. The Dow closed at twenty six thousand five hundred eleven yesterday, but the futures were earlier on quite weak. And now they've come back. They're up 57 in the Dow futures. The S&P closed yesterday. It was a mixed market, actually. S&P closed better than the Dow. Uh, closed at 2907.97, about two points away from the all-time high. Uh, right now, the E-mini futures are up about two. So we'll look at the NQ, which is the NASDAQ index 100 futures, up 4.75 at 77.39. Made an all-time high yesterday. It's testing that right now. The QQQ, which is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, also snuck away to a new all-time high at 187.99. So we're going to be watching this closely because uh, the technicals are just starting to weaken a little bit, even though technically they're still uh, quite positive. But they have turned down, turned down at 94% in the stochastic. That's still very strong. But we'll look at gold because gold is down three and a half points right now and uh, 3.8 actually at 1273. It's really struggling at this area in the 1270s. Uh, it must hold it because the weekly chart has strong support at this level. If it takes it out, it starts to trade in the 1268 area or lower. That's not going to be very good. It's become oversold, but let's see if it can bounce. And the dollar hasn't taken that as a real bout of strength. It is up seven cents at 97.36, holding very well. But it really needs to get to the 97.80s. So at this point, crude oil, which has been on a tear to the upside, is actually up on only eight cents right now. That 65.64 made a nice recovery high earlier in the day, 66.19 overnight, that is. Uh, watching this closely, because if it does pull back under 63.50 in the next three, four days, That'll probably coincide with some market weakness. We'll be watching that very closely. And the TLT, which is the Lehman uh, Treasury Bond ETF, we're watching that because that's at 122.31. Starts to go to 124.5 area as the market pulls back. That'll say, yep, market can have a little bit of a breather here. If it starts to uh, actually pull back to the 121s, the market could hold very nicely. So uh, stay tuned. I've got my show, The Tiger Technicians, coming up right now. It'll be pre recorded for my noontime event. So stay tuned. Otherwise, see you later on.